Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hard cataract in white coat. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. You can see a bit of oozing of blood that means the incision includes some capillaries. A side port has been done about 3 clock hours away. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. And now, this is adrenaline. And now, the anterior chamber is thoroughly washed with BSS. Then, 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is used to fill off the anterior chamber. This is 23 gauze cannula. The SPMC is applied over the cornea for better visibility. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. I have taken a cystitome, a 26 gauze pen needle and a C flap has been raised. This C flap is converted into a small rexus. Though in this case, as I made a puncture on the anterior capsule, nothing came out. But still, there is convexity of the anterior surface. And whenever I see this, I always do two stage rexis. First a mini rexis and then an optimum sized one. As I am aspirating some cortex, I can see the hard brown nucleus. So, this was a hard nucleus in white coat. Yes, the intralenticular pressure is much, much less now and we can easily enlarge this rexis. 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose again. A nick is made at the margin of the rexis. Take a uterata again, hold this and do this yes do this optimum sized rexis size of this rexis is about 5.75 millimeter and now the submarine job technique bevel up, the tip is exposed little more than in routine cases, the tip goes into the substance of the nucleus, goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. See the chopper just supports the anterior surface as the fecundal goes forward. As it reaches near the opposite equator, the chopper goes to deeper plane and a nice crack is obtained. In this case, there is leathery fibers posteriorly and it is becoming very difficult to divide the nucleus into two heminuclei. See the leathery band joining the two fragments. Read again, come to the other side and Yes, now it has become two free heminuclei. And now this heminucleus is chopped. Again, the same principle. The tip goes through the substance of the nucleus and just at on go, it is done. Uh, 
and this is the other hemineucleus, it is also chopped into two pieces. Now, each nuclear piece is tilted, the apex is attacked first and then the rest of the piece is emulsified. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 80 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and this is the second piece too much leathery fibers, very stubborn leathery fibers, still we can manage such cases with this machine. No financial interest, but this is a beautiful machine. This is Oatly Cataracts 3. And this is the last piece. At this time, we have to be very cautious because there is no cortex, no epinucleus covering the posterior capsule. Just beneath this piece is the posterior capsule. So, emulsification is being carried out at iris plane and the irrigation fluid is keeping the posterior capsule far behind and when emulsify the last portion of the last piece, decrease the vacuum to about 300 and flow rate 30. And now I come out. There is some nuclear piece, this one nuclear piece at the, at the side port. It is placed at the center and now this is the yes. This is the removal of cortex. Go through the side port and remove the cortex from the sub incisional area. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. patient belongs to a poor family and can't afford a hydrophobic intraocular lens. So, implanting a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and this is called hydro implantation where the antechamber is maintained by hydro that is balanced salt solution and the lens is implanted in the capsular bag. In this case, the cartridge was defective and it has caused some scratch at the periphery of the optic of the intraocular lens, but this part will be covered by iris and the patient will not have any problem in visual equity. And now, closer of the side port, the side port is nicely closed by hydration of corneal stroma and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. What I believe is this final lavage is very important to prevent TAS that is toxic anterior segment syndrome. I am not having any TAS for the last decade because I am practicing this step. 
Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Wish not it were easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenges. Wish for more wisdom.